Hello dear YouTuber friends and I do hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to this new video, this is Back to Basics with Microsoft Flight Simulator Part 29 Aircraft Proficiency and the importance of practicing with aircraft that you already own and becoming proficient with them. Here I am back in the 146 Professional, this is the 200 variant. So it's more like the cargo variant. I'm just doing my daily rounds of practicing with the 146 and becoming more proficient with them. I've noticed in YouTube comments and even in Discord and group flights we're doing, every time a new aircraft is released, people are buying them. And you may own 50 or s well, up to 50 aircraft, payware aircraft at the moment. The trouble is you're buying a new aircraft when it comes along and you're not getting proficient with the aircraft you own. Now, people like myself and other YouTube creators are partly responsible for that. We're putting out reviews and people are getting excited about these aircraft and buying them. And there's no harm with that. But if you own several aircraft already and you're not you getting proficient... Them? Shut up, 146. <laughs> You're not getting proficient with the aircraft you already own. You're kind of doing yourself some harm there. You're not getting the full enjoyment by not getting proficient with the aircraft you own. Now, it's going to be different for each people. People may get proficient very quickly with an aircraft. As soon as they buy it, they may be proficient within a day or two. That's not me. It takes me weeks to get properly proficient and to get to know my aircraft and the dials and the readouts inside out it can take me many weeks and months so that's what this video is all about okay so let's not dilly dally let's get on with this video Now what exactly do I mean by aircraft proficiency? Well perhaps the Quickie it will be a good illustration for this. I've owned the Quickie for some time, but I simply wasn't proficient enough to work out the operating systems, the systems and mechanics of the aircraft properly, and I wasn't getting the full enjoyment and full immersion from it. By the way, if you don't own the Quickie, fantastic aircraft, very acrobatic as you can see, one of the best field of views, it's for Xbox and PC, fully recommended, speedy little thing as you can see from my speed down here. So I'm doing over 200 knots, 200 knots at the moment with little effort. But I wasn't proficient, so basically I did a live stream. I've done a couple of live streams with the Quickie. On one live stream, I'm going to link it down for you in the description. I was constantly running out of fuel. I believe this is your current fuel tank, your active fuel tank. It's quite full at the moment because I've been proficient with it. But it was running out, so I was going to my flow. Go into my fuel tab here and topping up. You can see I've got 84%. I don't need to top up any further, but I was topping that up to 100% and still running out of fuel. And I thought, what's going on? Now, a quick look at the pilot operations handbook. So the supplied manual that comes with a lot of your payware aircraft, which is something I should have done. And it's going to be a point that I'm going to stress and put some importance on here. If you look at your uh, pilot, your pilot operating, operations handbook, so the manual that comes with your aircraft, if it comes with one, take a read through it. Let's try and fly through London Tower Bridge here. Take a look through it and understand the mechanics of your aircraft. Let's just fly through here and I'll get back to that point in a second. No problem with the quickie. So there we go. Uh, I'll show you the, the, the page, actually, the point in that uh, handbook that explains the transfer of fuel. So as you can see, this fuel is running out here. Now to stop that happening, turn your switch on, your fuel switch pump, and turn your 
tank transfer pump on. You can see a light comes on here. It's transferring from the standby tanks into my active tank, into my current tank here. And in that way, as long as you keep your quickie uh, fueled up, uh, either by landing and fueling up or just using flow or the uh, menu system at the top if you don't on fuel, uh, flow, you'll never run out of fuel and you can transfer your fuel. And it's also, you know, learning when to uh, activate your flexors in the quick. It's like a flap system. I'm just activating them there. I was a bit quick there, a bit fast, but I've activated them. You can see I'm um, slowing down. And it's understanding the procedures for landing, the speed you should be at, all that good stuff. So as we're at Haddison International here, let's come in for a landing. Let me just keep my speed up so I don't slow down too much and line up. And I'm getting a full worth, full worth. So I was doing the same thing. An aircraft will come on the market. I'll buy it and not learn properly the aircraft that I already own like the quickie here. Not get fully proficient. Now, I'm still not fully proficient when it comes to landing, so do bear with me. I do need to practice a lot more, which is what I'm doing now. I'm becoming proficient. So I'm not jumping to the next payware aircraft. I'm becoming proficient or more proficient. Somewhat. I'll do a long landing here as i got a lot of speed to bleed off. Uh, there we go, that should be fine. Bit of a hard landing, like I said, I do need to become more proficient with my landings here in the quickie. I almost smashed my propeller, propeller into the floor there too. Yeah, it's okay, I know I've got a stall, but I've landed. And there we go, we can bring her to a stop. So it's becoming more proficient with your aircraft. Practice your landings. In the case of the quickie, I'm practicing the fuel transfer, so transferring fuel. And I'm getting my money's worth, which is probably one of the most important points. So there you go. I'm back in the Cessna 182RG. I actually did a live stream on this last night. And this is quite poignant, because it's my last payware aircraft that I bought. And I'm just tuning in to a VOR here, Compton VOR, I believe. So I want to go, I'm pretty much on the heading for it. Uh, yeah, and I did a, a live stream of this last night. There's still a couple of things. It's like my last payware aircraft. There's a couple of payware aircraft, uh, the Vision Jet and the Kodiak that I still don't own. By the way, the Kodiak, at the time of recording this, still believe it's on sale in the Flight Sim Microsoft Flight Sim Marketplace. And the Concorde, if you don't own that. So if you have become proficient in your aircraft and you want a new challenge, those two aircrafts are available currently. And yeah, the Kodiak, I still don't own it. It's one I fancy. But I still don't feel I'm fully proficient with this. I'm 95% proficient with the uh, Cessna 182RG uh, here. It's quite an easy aircraft to fly, but with all the system, the VORs and the autopilot thing, uh, panel here, 95% proficient. I just want to uh, brush up a, uh, a bit more with my proficiency. But it's a good illustration, isn't it? The last payware aircraft I bought, I didn't go for the others because I've got enough aircraft where I'm practicing. Now, it's not for me to say that you should or shouldn't buy uh, an aircraft that comes on the market if that's your fancy, if it tickles your fancy and you want to go and get it. It's completely up to you. But what I would advise against is jumping from one aircraft to another just because there's a lot of hype about a current aircraft if you're not proficient with the aircraft you're enjoying the aircraft that you currently own but you want to become more practiced more professional with them get professional with them first and then go out and buy the new fangled latest aircraft on the market that would be my advice you're probably going to completely ignore that when I review the next big thing or another content creator reviews the next big aircraft. 
But it's completely up to you and don't feel bad about not owning the latest and greatest. There's a lot of great bygone aircraft like the Cessna 182RG here, like the Quickie I showed you before, the 146, the, uh, the Concorde, just as a few examples, and the Kodiak of course. There's already uh, quite a few great aircraft that have been on the market for some time. Become proficient with them first. But listen, do let me know your comments, your own thoughts. S sound off in the comments section below. Give the video a like if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you soon.